Hey guys, I've literally just installed the Mac OS X 10.5.2 update. Uh, it's 180 megabytes, I think, from the Apple update. Um, and one of the things I noticed when doing this one was a little bit strange. Um, as you as it's installing, obviously you've got the blue screen and then the little bar in the middle. Um, the progress bar actually stopped and it doesn't do anything, although it's actually still installing. Um, which kind of freaked me out a little bit. Then obviously the laptop restarts. And then what happened was, I got the spinning wheel obviously, the, the little black spinning wheel. Um, and then the laptop restarted again, so at this point I was really starting to get worried. I mean, what's going on here? It doesn't usually do this. Um, but it obviously in the end came out, everything works fine. So just a little bit of a different process, just to warn you in case you start panicking. Do not interrupt the install process because obviously that would just scramble everything. So just wait with it, relax, have a cup of coffee, have whatever. Um, and then it will eventually get through to it. So what I've got in front of me now is a list of um, the new features. I have a lot. I've had a look at a few of them, and then I'll do a screen capture of um, a few of the basics for you just after this. So um, what's different? I'll, I'm not going to go into all the tiny nitty gritty details because nobody wants to hear that. Um, airport. It's improved um, uh, certain. Compatibility and reliability issues uh, includes improvements for the standards, resolves certain kernel panics, no idea what that means. Um, it's added more third party routers to the back to my Mac compatibility list, um, which is good. It's improved the performance of uh, dashboard, such as uh, dictionary, so the dictionary widget's a little bit faster. Um, the stacks in your dock now have an option called list. So instead of having a massive um, block of stacks or a fan of stacks, you now get a list um, similar to uh, a menu drop down on your bar, top bar. Uh, desktop addresses uh, legibility issues with menu bar options. So some options may be because of color you couldn't see. Um, slightly less translucent overall. Uh, iCal improves iCal, reflects responses to recurring meetings, iChat. Fixes an issue in iChat with Time Machine. Uh, but there's a lot of iChat fixes actually. iSync adds support for Samsung D600 and D900 phones, nothing big. Uh, addresses an issue in Finder, a uh, bunch of fixes in Finder. Resolves an issue that prevented setting permissions on a folder alias. I think I had that one once actually, where it, it was my folder but I couldn't change the permissions on it for some reason. Then I couldn't go back and cancel what I'd done because I didn't have privileges for it, so that was another bug. Um, mail, the mail app addresses an issue with messages menu mark as red choice. <laughs> I definitely had that bug. Um, wow, there's a lot of fixes for mail, most out of all of them. Um, networking addresses a hanging issue that may occur. Um, parent controls, improves stability when opening parent control system preferences pane. Um, I don't really think anyone uses parental controls. Um, well, unless their parents are using it behind the backs. <laughs> uh, preview improves stability when scrolling through a PDF document. PDF scrolling is pretty nitty gritty anyway. Even on a MacBook Pro, scrolling in a PDF isn't exactly the world's best thing because it's, it's always quite jaggedy when you scroll. So hopefully that's improved. Printing addresses issues in which remote printers can be deleted when the computer is put to sleep. That's not good. And there's a bunch here. I mean, I'm only reading like the top ones that I see off the top of my head because I don't want this video to be really, really long. Can't be over 10 minutes anyway. Um, adds raw image support for several cameras, which is pretty good for photographers out there. Safari addresses an issue of Safari reliability. I'll say that again. <laughs> addresses issues with Safari reliability resolving certain domains. It's cool. That's the one, that's the only fix for Safari. Uh, login and setup uh, improves stability and performance during login. So okay. System improves the accuracy of the grammar checker. That's probably the most exciting one there is. <laughs> um, time machine improves backup reliability, fixes an issue in time machine. Uh, disk displayed in finder may be out of sync with disk chosen for time machine. Other improves the general stability when running third party apps. Addresses an issue with Latvian and Russian keyboard layouts. Um, for all those Latvian and Russian subscribers, that's been fixed for you now. It's good. And addressed an issue in which backlight could turn off before energy saving backlight settings. Okay, so I think all in all in this list are probably 
around about 100 and 110 maybe I'm just scrolling through and guessing um, so yeah like I said before it says here on the Apple web page the installation process should not be interrupted even if the progress bar remains unchanged for several minutes um, so basically don't interrupt it or else it will all go peaked on um, so what I'll do in a follow up video to this is I think I'll probably do it as a response to this is basically a, a screen uh, grab of what's actually changed and in that will be how to stop the top menu bar being translucent which is one that a lot of people want um, showing the list option in stacks and any new uh, things that crop up in the operating system as I said I've just downloaded it now so I'll take a quick look through it for you guys and I'll load it up as soon as possible thanks for watching and I think if you click just on a video below here um, or there'll be a link on the left on the right <laughs> um, then you should get the next video to this. Thanks very much for watching. Take care.